Hi everybody, this is Abby with Scrap and Abby, and I am working on a holiday card for our cousins. I made um, the peace banner that I have a video on um, for them for their home, and then I'm also making a card. And I already kind of got started before I realized, oh, I didn't do a little video beforehand. I'm going to zoom in just a little tiny bit. That way. There we go. So what I'm making is um, a holiday card, as I already said, but I'm making one of the paper bag cards. And I've made quite a few of these, and I know this is not new. Tons of people do it. Um, but that's just the style I'm going with. And so the paper collection I'm using, um, as you guys probably know, I'm slightly obsessed with the Authentique Glistening Collection. So I'm using bits from the 6x6 paper pad, as well as the 12x12, which I have sitting right over there. And then I kind of went ahead and, um, you know, starting the design process that's in my head of what I'm going to, you know, how I'm going to make this look flip it over and then um, you know kind of put it together but I lay everything out before I start inking cutting all that kind of stuff as far as distressing and I'm going to be using quite a bit of some glitter and some different textures on this one because I really want to kind of give it that whole frosty kind of snow wintry feel and so I'm thinking um, I haven't decided yet from the um, sticker sheet or it's not a sticker excuse me it's the um, it's like you know just the chipboard or you know cardstock sh uh, sheet here <laughs> I don't know why I can't think what this is called but you know what I'm talking about so I popped one of them out and this was a ticket shape and I didn't like that so I kind of trimmed it down I'm not so sure I like that it cut off so much of this part but I can distress that and make it look like it was meant to look that way so this is what I'm thinking I'm gonna have for the front you know we'll see what it looks like when I'm done I have this frame which is from Mickey Memories of course it's not the right color palette but that doesn't matter because we can alter so I have a combination of some different um, mediums I'm gonna use to alter this so you can't see that it's green and then the thought process is to have this on the front like this and I have some different acrylic sprays and flowers and things like that that I don't have out right readily available on my table to kind of dress up the front a little bit and then for the inside you'll know, have a little bit of a sentiment or something here this is where I'm going to write my um, note to uh, my cousin and uh, her husband and the family and then in here I'm going to put in some little tags that I've already made some gift tags that she can use them on presents and whatnot for her family if she chooses to do so so in addition to the peace banner, she's going to get this with some tags inside as well. And um, just to kind of share with you some of the items I plan on using, because I always like to do a little video before I get started, just to kind of see the creative process, more so for me than anything else, I guess, just to kind of see the starting point. So a couple things I pulled out to use, um, and of course, you know, I always pull out probably way more than I ever will use, just so I have some variety and some options. I have that um, IKEA kitchen utility cart that I got for my birthday, so I kind of push that around my craft room and shop in my own room so and pull and pull things off my shelves and whatnot that I think I might want to use so I'm thinking about possibly using um, some of the silver tinsel sorry for the glare there's a little really pretty soft blue um, trim up here at the top or I might end up using more of this vintagey type tinsel here I'm not sure yet exactly and um, these are some snowflakes that are left over from a different project they were punched um, with the Tim Holtz uh, one of the winter dies and it was on some sheer um, vellum and I thought about using some of these. These are from um, Webster's Pages, or Pink Paisley, excuse me. And it's from the Vintage Vogue collection. The color palette matches is why I was thinking that. But of course, you know, putting something different on one of the rosettes. I might do that. I don't know. Because it just depends. It's just, like I said, it's a creative process. I don't want to junk it up. So we'll see which route I go. And then I grabbed just a couple bags of some vintage um, trims. This is from my um, design team sister at Three Girl Jam. Sherry sent this to me. Hi, Sherry. I do get in here and use a lot of the Robinson trims that she sent me. I keep them in this bag so I can always um, give her a shout out when I use any Thing from there and then this is just another one I picked up for 10 cents at, um, at a, when I was out junk shopping so anyway so I'm probably gonna pull some of the creams and you know blues and that kind of stuff to kind of embellish on the bag of course I have some three girl jam crinkle ribbon I don't have it separated yet this is how I just keep my design team ribbon that I get from Julie um, I'm working on a better method for that because I don't really like it like that anymore. But anyway, so I'll probably use some crinkle ribbon in there somewhere. A couple things. Um, some of these little, you know, the cabochon flowers. It's kind of hard to see the color in that tin. Um, just using a little bit of these, you know, one, two maybe. And then some, you know, um, paper flowers possibly. And 
let's see. I pulled out a couple of my Martha Stewart punches. This is the snowflake border punch. This is the snowflake corner punch. I might do that on the inside piece just to kind of um, dress up this inner piece a little bit. I'm not sure. And I pulled out from Maya Road, I just got this in my warehouse box, is some of their stick pins. I was thinking about maybe using the, um, the white ones and putting some, you know, some of the distress, uh, distress stickles or some of this dry glitter that I have from Tim Holtz and the Clear Rock Candy just to kind of make those look icy. And then I thought about maybe doing a little bit of embossing. I picked up this big, huge bottle of this Clear Ultra Thick Embossing. I might use that maybe to do some resist um, embossing with uh, some of my snowflake dice or stamps that I have. And then I pulled out this. I don't know if I'll use this or not because I don't want to. I haven't decided. This is a, a mixture of some embossing powder that I made to get myself. It's got the um, Stampedness um, Vintage. I can't remember the name of the one, but it's the white with gold. And then I added just a little bit of some blue embossing powder in there for, left over from another project. And then for some of the trim, I might use some of the Maya Road trim as well. Um, this one here is the quarter inch cloud white double stitched velvet ribbon just because it's so soft. And to me, this looks like you know the the fur on her coat and on her hat this looks like what you would find like on a muff or something and i had a fur muff not real fur obviously but i had a fur muff when i was a little girl it was one of my dress you know coats and and stuff for church so this kind of reminds me of that so i'll probably incorporate this in here somewhere as well so for anybody watching this you're thinking oh my gosh are you seriously going to put all of this on that card no i'm not this is just how my mind works i kind of pick things up throughout my craft room. I can, Like I said, I shop in my craft room and then I bring everything over to my um, side table and then I start working on, you know, I the first thing I do is I, you know, decide what kind of project and this one's going to be the paper sack, you know, card and then I start picking out the papers and then I start building my layers from there and I start pulling things out that I don't want to use anymore and adding things in that I will think look better. So when I do a video of this at the very end, um, when I'm done with the completed project, you guys will see what items I ended up using and which ones I did not. And um, if I remember, I might do a little uh, two or three minute video clip on me altering this frame just in case anybody has any questions on how, how you can do that. Because you can pick things up when they're on the cheap like I did. This was on clearance. I've had this forever and a day. And um, you can use this on any project just by altering this. You don't have to keep it the color it came in. So anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and clear off my workspace, get back to working on the card, and I will be back with a completed project. Thanks, guys. Okay, I am back with the completed card. This is made again from just a paper bag, like a lunch sack, and this is it. And so in the first part of the video, I shared with you guys the paper collection and some of the different items that I had um, thought I would be using on the card itself, some of the items I used and some I added. So I'm gonna, instead of going through every single thing again in the last part of the video, I'm just gonna kind of show you the things that I added to this that I didn't show and then the end result of some of the items that I started with as I altered them so you guys can kind of get a visual of what I did. So let me start with I guess just kind of grabbing some things here. So I showed you guys I was going to be using a couple of the stick pins um, from my Road. I chose to use two of the white and then what I did is I just covered them in some adhesive and then I um, this is what they look like right here and then what I did is I dipped them into some of this um, dry glitter clear rock candies um, from uh, stickles from Tim Holtz and um, when I got done with that I kind of spritzed it with a little bit of the Lindy's uh, stamp it's the starburst and it's in Tiffany Lou blue is the one I used and then I um, thought that just kind of turned out really cool how that looked with a little bit of shimmer there from the stickles, the glitter stickles, and then shimmer from the, the Lindy sprays as well. And then let's see, oh, the frame. And pardon me if I sound kind of stuffy, I'm still getting over a cold that I've had for um, about a week. So this card would have been done like a week ago, but I got sick and I was off work for um, a full week of work. And then, um, you know, and I'm still kind of lingering. I'm on day eight. So, and it's kind of dark, so I apologize for the shadow because it's already nighttime here. But I need to get this off in the mail since it's going to some family members um, out of state. So I wanted to get this done tonight. So on the frame that you guys see on the front, I showed you the other one. It's from Making Memories. This is what it looked like before except the one I used was green and I just altered this by using a couple of coats of um, I think it was gesso which I already put away but it's just you know your standard gesso and then while it was still wet I used some more of the stickles here again I use this quite a bit in the project actually and then um, 
<clears throat> I did that, and I'll show that to you up closer in just a moment. So I did the frame. Let's see what else was different that I... Oh, the lace. I don't have any more of just the plain white, but this is just some lace. I think it's from Really Reasonable Ribbon, and I used a couple different colors of Lindy Spray on it. Again, I used a Tiffany Lou Blue. And for those of you, this used to be the Tiffany's Blue, and, and Lindy's now has renamed it to the Tiffany Lou Blue. So if you like that one before, which I love, that's this, it's the same one. And then I used some of the Starburst um, spray, and this is the Teeth Chattering Teal. And this is from their Winter Wonderland collection, and I love this. I just got these, and I was anxious to play with them. So I just kind of did that to the lace. It was solid white, but I wanted to kind of add a little bit of color to it, just so it kind of matched the project a little bit more. And then, uh, let's see here, I went over with the sentiment here, some more of the scintillating silver, which is also from Lindy's um, Stamp King. And then on the corners, what I did is I made my own snow by using just some, um, I used, excuse my reach here guys, I used some of the modeling paste, and then I mixed in just some white craft sand that I picked up, I think at Michael's or Joann's or something. And then I made my own mixture, um, you know, it just makes the sand texture kind of like snow. And then I added some stickles to the top of that once it was dry. And I just used some of the icicle stickles, which I use also throughout the project, as you'll see. A couple of the brads that I used, um, or excuse me, um, Flatback Pearls. This is from Studio 112. I wish I, they would have more of these at Michael's because I would have bought more, but they only had a couple when I bought these quite some time ago. But I like them because they're like pearls, but they're silver and then there's gold. And I used some silver on the inside. And um, I used from Queen & Company some of the goose Twinkle Goosebumps. And I don't know if it says what color these are. I don't see it anywhere. But this is what the color they are. They're very pretty. They look like um, gumdrops, the candy to me. And then the ink um, that I used, again, was this uh, Distress Ink in Ice Spruce. I really love this one. It's one of my favorites. I used some more of the eyelash trim that I got from Peggy. Hi, Peggy. Thank you so much. I love this stuff. I've been using it on so many projects. And... Um, for the inside of the bag, which I'll show you in just a moment, I also used some of this um, vintage lace that I received from Sherry, um, who is DJ Sundries on um, YouTube. I think it's, oh, Sherry, you're going to kill me. Be let me look real quick. I think it's just DJ Sundries, but um, uh, Sherry is her... Um, her YouTube is her name. She's one of my design team sisters from Three Girl Jam. So, hi Sherry. Um, I'll put a link to both Peggy and Sherry's blog, uh, YouTube channels in the description below. That way you guys can go check them out because um, they both do fabulous projects and, and um, I love to watch their, their YouTube videos because I watch you guys all the time um, when I'm crafting. So anyway, I digress. Um, on the back side, which I'll show you in a moment, I use a little bit of the Maya Road trim. I love this one. It's the quarter inch cloud white. And it's a double-sided, you know, um, velvet ribbon. It's really soft and pretty. And I think there might be something else as I'm going along. Um, and I'll just point it out. But I'll go ahead and get to the card since I'm like five minutes into the video now. Hello. Um, anyway, so what I did is, as you guys can see here on the front flap, this is the frame. And you can see how pretty and glistening and shiny that is. This is just one of the little images from the Authentique. And I showed it at the beginning, but I'll show it again real quick here. The Authentique, I used the combination from the 12x12 pad and the 6x6. This was one of the little um, embellishments that you can, look, you know, little paper tags you can pop out. Stuck it behind the frame. I think it's so pretty, the way that glistens. And then here I have some of the eyelash trim tucked behind the frame. In the corners and kind of just scattered throughout the project itself, you're going to see all these little clusters. That is the snow, um, you know, the snow fake snow that I made and I put some stickles over the top of it and then this little cluster of those cabochon flowers and these I purchased from um, I got those from Pick Your Plum and I have a video on that and as well here again are those two stick pins from Maya Road what I did in the bottom um, I've never seen this before I'm not saying I came up with this I mean I, I just thought of it as my glue gun was um, cooling off from something else I thought man I don't want my you know my cousin to poke the bottom of the pins and I know you, there are people that put little caps and different things on them but I don't have anything like that and so what I did is I just I'll hold it up here so you can see it I just used um, the rest of the glue before it was totally cooled down for my glue gun and I made a little ball at the end of each one right here and then while it was still um, uh, once it dried I just put a little bit of a liquid adhesive over the top of it and then I dipped the ends again into the dry glitter and I thought this made it look like little snowballs and that was kind of my idea kind of like I hope you guys can see that okay 
kind of like little ice, you know, snowballs. Anyway, so that's, not only does it protect her from poking her fingers and when they're looking at the card or her kids, when they pick it up and look at it, it's going it also kind of adds a decorative element. So I thought that was kind of a fun technique and I'm probably going to use that more. Here is um, another one of the little um, board sentiments I cut out and I distressed the edges. You can see that scintillating silver on there. I love that stuff. It's just so pretty. And then um, just made a little arrangement with some of that lace. Um, and then again, some more of the eyelash trim. And I think that's it for the front part. Open it up the flap inside here. And then I just ran some more lace that I had in my stash on um, some more of the, of the backing of the cardstock. This is another one of the paper. You know, it's, it's not chipboard. It's just like you, it's like off a 12 by 12 sheet and you just pop it out. And so it says, we only have this moment sparkling like a star in our hand and melting like a snowflake. And part of it's covered up because of the snowflakes I added, but that was just the way it was kind of. And then I used some more stickles on the corners. I used my Martha Stewart um, snowflake corner punch on there, and I showed that in the first part of the video, which punches I used. Again, just some more clumps of, you know, the the snow. And just to kind of add that, and here I use, there's, here are those little um, goosebump, um, goosebumps flat back pearl type things there and some snowflakes these are actually left over from another project it's just um, from one of my Sizzix dies it's the middle piece and this is just some of the sheer um, vellum paper that I picked up and it's from close to my heart and then on the inside as everybody knows with these paper sacks I painted the inside a little bit so you wouldn't see just the brown sack so much I'm going to be sticking a couple um, you know gift cards in here for their two little boys that way they have something from um, us for Christmas so that's going to go in there and then on this page here I love this wood grain paper um, from that authentic glistening collection. I'm going to kind of hold it up. I think you guys can see I did some resist emboss and I showed it in the first part of the video as well but these are the stamps that I used I, from Maya Road. I just grabbed like two or three different sizes and styles of, this, of the snowflakes snowflake stamps and then I just put them on here and then I just used, used some res resist embossing and I gotta tell you guys my faux pas. I wasn't going to but I'm gonna because it's just a learning experience and I think it's kind of funny and it turned it into um, you know kind of a cool crafty technique so I, a while back I told you guys I'll make this brief. I um, picked this up at um, the Coastal Crop I went to and I didn't really read this when I was going to use it. I was just excited to see this huge bottle of embossing enamel and it being clear. I didn't realize it was supposed to be used with a UT. I don't have a UT and so um, I was I just used it like it was just regular clear embossing powder and when I put the stamp on I started using my heat tool I was like why is this not really being as clear as when I use you know my smaller bottles and I was like oh my gosh this is for a UT. <laughs> so I didn't realize that but it's okay because it still turned out as you guys can see but then some of my smaller stamps it, it didn't it kind of blew little bubbles but if you look at it it looks like it's you know like um, the dew like little um, ice drops and I think it turned out really cute and I'm actually going to do that again because I really like it I think it turned out pretty cute and over here too and kind of here so this one here you can really see you know the, more of the snowflake image and then down here in the corner and I just kind of randomly stamped around the background I didn't do underneath here of course because this is where I'm going to be where I put the, you know, the part where I'm going to write a note to them on the inside, but um, I did it around the edges. And then I took some more of the ice spruce and kind of went over it to some of the parts just a little bit so you could kind of see it a little bit better. And then just some more of the snow around the corner again, of course. And then I just put some more of that eyelash trim. Peggy, I just love this stuff. It's just so pretty. I've been using it all, all the time. And then here are those little silver balls. Um, I put, like, you know, I'm not sure if they're flat back type pearls. I put those on the corner. Again, I used some more um, adhesive and I just put, dip these into that same glitter and on four corners and then the bottom down there and then inside here is where I used that vintage um, lace that Sherry sent me thank you again Sherry I love this and I didn't want to waste it because it's on the inside and what I mean by that is if I would have just cut this you know to fit I would have had you know about you know half of it not even showing because it would be clear inside the sack so what I did is I just cut the length that I needed cut it in half and that way I doubled you know my usage and I still have quite a bit left to use on some other projects and so that way I didn't feel like I was wasting it by having a lot of the lace hidden inside where you couldn't see it so it's just a little bit as you guys can see right there is what I did and I just wrapped that on the inside sorry I know it's kind of a glare because it's like I said it's um, already dark here. But anyway, I thought that was kind of pretty, just kind of a kind of a nice soft edge, and I think it's really cute because it's kind of showing as well on the edge without even opening up the sack. I think it's really pretty. 
And then this is the back side. Um, I didn't want to fuss up too much like using any kind of, you know, um, any more sparkly glittery stuff or whatever just because that when she's holding it, it doesn't come off when you're picking it up. But I thought this image was just really sweet. That little, you know, little child on there and their sled and it's very vintage and I love that. And here's where I use that Maya Road trim. And I just think it's really pretty. Kind of adds a little bit to the back. And then again, it's something really nice when you're holding this in your hand, you can feel it. And that's, as I've said a thousand times, this is one of my favorite things about crafting is the textures and the feel. I love that and I just think it's so, this adds so much to it. So anyway, this is my, um, my card for our cousins I'm going to be sending to them in addition to the um, peace banner that I made and I'll put a link to the video of the peace banner in the description of this video that way you guys can check out that one if you like and then I'll do the same thing on the peace banner video linked to this one that way since these projects are going together so what I'm going to do stick on the inside for her this way she can have some handmade tags for me in addition to the other projects are these tags that I, or I made and I already showcased these were for um, craft Ireland design team I made these and I have a video and I'll link to that as well just in case you guys are interested in how I made each of these tags and um, the different items that I used on them so I'm going to tuck all four of these into um, you know the opening of the sack right here for her that way she has some tags for me that she can use um, to pass out you know for um, to put on Christmas presents or you know for her family for co-workers or whatever she chooses to do and then I'll have it all wrapped and really um, really pretty for her so thanks you guys for checking out um, another Scrap and Happy video sorry if I was a little bit rambly like I said I'm getting over my cold still so I'm, that's my excuse <laughs> that I'm a little bit um, kind of scattery right now I'm not back to 100% yet so but this is the project I love it I think it turned out really super cute can't wait to get it off in the mail to them so happy holidays you guys and I will see you guys later happy crafting